Welcome to For Speedy Pause. I've got a bit of a controversial video today, a reflection on border collies. Why controversial? Well, because almost everyone who doesn't have a dog tells me they'd like a border collie and almost everyone who has a dog of a different breed thinks it's super easy to have a border collie. And it's definitely not. And I certainly don't think a border collie is everyone's doggy. Let's have a look at the breed itself and its specifics. First of all, let me give you a recommendation. If you are thinking about getting a border collie or have already bought one, be sure to buy and read the books on border collies by Carol Price. This experienced breeder of border collies explains in her books the origin and original destination of border collies, from which the basics of her character are still based today. The author explains why border collies do what they do, what are its specifics, and advises how to raise and train a border collie as easily as possible. In the books you will find many specific advice and wow effects, and it is definitely worth buying. From what I've just said, it's probably clear that a border collie is a specific breed. And sure, we can talk about the fact that each breed is specific, and it really is. The extraordinality of a border collie is not only that it's really a working or maybe even workaholic breed, but above all it is really unique how the breed is perceived by the general public. Probably everyone has seen some talent contest where a border collie showed up performing amazing tricks, or in a dog sport contest where a border collie was winning a trophy, or simply met a border collie that could do a lot of cool things just in a park. And that's why a lot of people think that border collies can do just about anything. I don't deny that border collies are very smart. They are also said to be the smartest breed ever. And that they learn quickly what we want them to learn. But on the other hand, they also learn quickly what we don't want. If we do not take care of it. Border collies are used to and also able to be inventive and independent. They come up with behavior or actions. And one has to remember that even if they wake up him at midnight, he has to be smarter than his dog. The result, when you see a border collie who behaves absolutely brilliantly and has many sporting or show successes, is a big but really great lot of time, care, patience and consistency. And especially a build up relationship with the owner. Border collies are very empathetic and I can really confirm that, especially when I have been fighting with cancer. Border collie is simply very sensitive and figure out how to react to anything. Whether it is sickness, joy or fear, a border collie is like a mirror and therefore her owner should be careful about what emotions we send out. Unconsciously, with our emotions, we can de facto destroy a border collie. We should also bear in mind that even though Border Collie is a great companion, it is basically a working breed. It was bred to help shepherds round up sheep for long hours, day after day, in the huge pastures of Britain. This leads to an important warning. If you don't have enough time for a Border Collie and you are not able to give her enough physical and mental enjoyment, then a Border Collie is probably not a dog for you. It would probably be in everyone's interest not to have one. Almost every day I see posts on Facebook on uh, various advertisements where people are literally getting rid of a border collie because they simply don't have it right. A border collie is not a stuffed animal that you just put away for a few days until you are in the mood to play again. Border collie, like any other dog, is a living creature and has certain needs. A lot of people like border collies, but let's be honest with each other. Is it really a suitable dog for your lifestyle? If the answer is no, let's look for another breed instead. I already mentioned that Border Collie is like a mirror and more than any other breed it applies here. What a master, what a dog. If you are always nervous about something, your Border Collie will be neurotic. If on the other hand you are very calm and balanced, so will your Border Collie. Of course, genetics also plays a role and when choosing a border collie it is advisable to consider in addition to the quality of the kennel whether a border collie from the show line or from the work or sports line is more suitable for you. So what if you are really determined to get a border collie? Does this mean that you 
have considered your lifestyle, have considered your time options, have considered your financial options. After all, such a dog costs something and it is a commitment for about 15 years. If so, then let's choose one for you. First of all, I would like to point out that it is not a good idea to get a border collie without a pedigree. And beware, a lot of people will tell you that they have puppies from their parents with pedigree and only the puppies don't have pedigree. This is a clear sign for me that something is wrong and I would never buy such a puppy. If the puppy doesn't come from a properly registered kennel, its parents aren't registered in the Border Collie data database and you haven't found the litter in the list of many things and plant litters, then something's clearly wrong. If you get a dog with pedigree, then you are guaranteed that both parents have been properly examined for problems with their locomotion apparatus and eyes and their appearance and character are up to standard. For non-paper dogs, for example, you risk epilepsy and a lot of other health problems. What you may say when getting a puppy, you will then spend on veterinary services. At present, thanks to the originally increased demand for border collies, puppies with pedigree are plentiful and a quality breeder will help you not only with the selection of the individual that suits you best, but also with education and training. Besides being a great partner for hiking, running or biking, you can do almost any dog sport with a border collie. If you are interested in any particular dog sport, go to see the publicly accessible exams or races. You will see border collies in action and you may have a chance to talk with their owners. Not everyone you meet on the street with a border collie is someone who really understands this breed. But if you see the owner of a border collie at a dog event, it's usually people who already know a lot about borderland. And who knows, you may run into the breeder of your future puppy there. So, good luck! <laughs>